What's up, Louis Fandom vs. YouTube? This your boy Arm. And your boy Louis G. And we just came from watching the premiere of Aquaman. And we're going to go over what we thought about the movie. Um, this is going to be an informal review slash reaction. So if it's all over the place, forgive us. Um, I like the movie a lot. What did you think of the movie, Louis? <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was good. It's, it had its moments. I mean, it, 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 uh, it had its moments. There was other times where, you know, I was just kind of like, oh, cool, that's happening. Yeah. Um, but I mean, overall, I mean, it was a pretty good movie. It was better than Batman versus Superman. Oh yeah, definitely. Way better than that. Definitely a step up from Batman versus Superman and Man of Steel. Um, there may be a little bit of spoilers in here, so beyond this point, if you don't want to get spoiled, turn off the video. But one thing I did like about the movie is we got two villains. We right. got Black Manta and we got Ocean Master. And I feel like Black Manta was like an added bonus. Yeah. They, they could have did the movie with just Ocean Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The added uh, uh, Black Manta set, that thing was pretty good. Yeah. The suit was, you know, on point. Uh, uh, got beat up a few times, but, you yeah. know, it happens, you know, fighting Aquaman. But, uh, um, but, I mean, like I said, overall the movie, you know, to put it as a whole, it was pretty <clears throat> good. You know, for me. The one personally. interesting thing, because, okay, there's one thing I noticed that comic book movies are doing, and they started with Black Panther, is giving origin stories to villains, or making us feel for the villain. Um, back to Black Manta, the whole thing with his father, yeah. you kind of feel for him. And you kind of get his origin and his motivation. He's not just evil for no reason. Oh, he, I think he's evil for no reason. I mean, they're, he's a pirate. He was a pirate, but now he had a, he has a reason to really pursue Aquaman. Yeah, well... And yeah. I feel bad for him. Like, he had a... He, his father gave him a knife, his father, get, so they establish history and camaraderie with it. It's okay. Think of it like this: Michael Keaton on Homecoming. You seen yeah, Spider-Man yeah, Homecoming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he was a villain, but you know we saw his family life. We saw that he was, you know, work. Him and his team have found all that stuff left over by, from the Shatari um, aliens. You kind of feel bad for him. Well, on, on that one, you kind of feel more bad for him because he, yeah. was, he was running a construction company, yeah. and he had to, you know, went out and bought these trucks and everything, and then the city said, "Hey, guess what?" Or stopping everything, so whatever money you got tied in. So now when you feel him, he was trying to make a living. You feel for him? You, if you feel for Killmonger? Black man, is I feel this for Black man. Pirate, they, they were stealing. They, I, yeah, he was bad from the beginning, but they established some kind of... They, okay, let's put it this way. They made him humane, at least. His daddy blew himself up. But they I made mean, him humane. Well, yeah, I mean... At you least know. you can say that. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't make him just completely evil with no feeling, if that makes sense. Yeah. I so, they, I mean, and then the whole the whole origin story with the, the Manta knife, at least. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I just feel like the, the plot device, because they did it in um, Luke Cage with um, Luke Cage Season 2 with Bushmaster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, they make you want to... These comic book movies, they want you to feel for the villains now. So they they kind of did that with Black Manta a bit, depending on your perspective. Um, what did you think of the visuals? Uh, they were great. I mean, you, you, they, they had all, uh, you got to see the, the ocean in a, in a different way. You know, um, when you're reading a comic book or, or anything like that, you kind of get an idea, but when you see it in, in, in the way the Atlantean saw it, I mean, way different. Everything lights up, kind of, kind of gave me a feel for like, kind of like Avatar, you know, as far as yeah. the world, you know, as far as yeah. the lighting and everything like that. So that part I thought it, I, I really did like. And, um, really stunning <clears throat> visuals. Yeah, they did a good job on the CG. Um, I mean, if I was, I mean, if I was to give some gripes about it, but this is some of the same gripes I had for Thor Ragnarok and some of the Marvel movies, um, some of the misplaced humor, mm. it was kind of cheesy at certain, certain times, and I know Jason Momoa has, like, this macho, don't give a shit attitude, especially with his version of Aquaman, but at times, <laughs> Mary was talking to him about serious stuff, and he's like, huh? oh, really? Huh? Kind of like they dumbed him down, like, the <laughs> big old... You know, <laughs> Fishman Neanderthal kind of yeah kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I could see that. And and there's some emotional parts in the movie too. Um, like once again, spoiler alert. You know, we thought his mom was dead. She comes. You know, they find her alive at the end of the movie. Um, she sort of gets emotional with his dad. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an emotional driven movie. And you know, there's a part where Mera and Aquaman goes to Italy. And it kind of reminds me of an uh, Indiana Jones type of movie. Like, yeah, they were kind of exploration. Yeah, kind of like, like, you know, yeah. um, uh, what's that movie? National Treasure. Yeah, yeah, Nicolas yeah, yeah. Cage. You're kind of looking for an artifact. You're kind of rummaging through 
do things looking for it. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it, it did have a little bit of an exploring scene um, there. Uh, what did you think of um, Ocean Master as a main bad guy? Oh, he was a dick. So, yeah. I mean, he was a villain that you wanted wanted to die. You yeah. Know, you wanted him to get killed or, you know, well, eat some more. You know, <laughs> well, eat some. Falls on top of him. I mean, it was just... A six-pack holder tank. He was, just, he was a jerk from the get-go. Yeah. You know, so um, very well played. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the actor. Do you know the actor? Man, I he's been in a lot of things. Oh, okay. Honestly, I couldn't tell you right off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, he, he, he played a good role. I knew Nicole Kidman was going to be in the movie. Um, I, I was didn't surprised. Even recognize her at, like at like Look, the beginning. I didn't even know Nicole Kidman until you said something. I don't I'm know like, if it's technology or makeup or what, but they smooth. And oh no, they cleaned brush. all that up. They cleaned. Like, <laughs> you know, like, Nicole Kidman was looking. She looked like she was eighteen. Yeah, she looked. Way, so, you know. <laughs> so she was good in the movie. Um, I can admit I didn't look at every last star in the movie before the movie comes out. Actually, I don't really research movies anymore because you know how things are given away so much nowadays. Before it comes out, so I literally don't look and see what's going on. But William Defoe for me was a surprise. He was like the royal advisor in the movie. Um, he had a good role in the movie. I thought Amber Heard as Mira, yeah. um, beautiful, uh, spunky, uh, played the. She was kind of like yeah, not so much a damsel in distress. She, she did stuff in the movie, and she was integral to the plot. So I thought she did well as Mira, um, and Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa as Aquaman, I think he's awesome. You know, we got a. An ethnic, ethnic esque Aquaman. You know, Aquaman has been a butt of many pop culture jokes for years. Between your Family Guy, Robot Chicken, you know, just similar memes, you know, from the Super Friends. So at least Jason Momoa is, is bringing coolness to the character. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, so. definitely, definitely. Well, um, yeah. Because I was, every time I think of Aquaman, I'm thinking of that old, you know. <laughs> 1980s version. He's yeah. sitting there riding to uh, the two dolphins or seahorses. Yeah, the dolphin suit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's corny as shit because you can never see, you know, the ocean. You know where where he comes from. I mean, it's just bland as fuck. You know, um, it's the it, this movie actually brought that out. I think um, he does more and, than just talking yeah, fish. Yeah, it's like I'm talking fish. Cool. Yeah, um, and I did like the 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 fact that they kind of give him a um, you know his, his early childhood. You know, like yeah. they start off. On how his parents met, and yeah. you know, I didn't know that he spent that much time, you know, on land. Realistically, when I, when the other movies, I just kind of figured he kind of hung around there, but he had some kind of ties with, uh, with, um, <clears throat> I guess his his people or or whatnot. But I wasn't really, um, I didn't know that he uh, that he actually spent like the majority of his time on land. So I mean, that was a plus to be able to see that, and you kind of get an idea of. What was going on with his early, early life and and whatnot? So that was pretty cool. Um, um, so a solid, a solid first Aquaman film. We can say that. Yeah, a solid yeah, first yeah, film for yeah. Aquaman. Period. His first live action film for the character. Um, I want to see give this movie an eight out of ten. What would you give it? Be honest. Out of seven, maybe seven out of ten. I mean, it's it's. Wonder Woman's better um, to me. I think I liked Wonder Woman, but then again, I'm kind of a history uh, geek there. So in the era of uh, World War II and whatnot, so I kind of dug that too. Same okay. thing with like Captain America and, yeah. and whatnot. Okay. So I don't want to be real, real biased on that, but yeah. uh, way better than 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 Man of Steel, um, Batman vs Superman. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I thought Justice League was a good movie. I thought Suicide Squad had its uh, moments. Um, I'm a Marvel and DC fan, so I don't I don't get into the whole Marvel versus DC thing. I have I have all my loves in Marvel, and I can debate those. But I have my loves with DC Comics, and I can debate those as well. But it's not it's no secret that DC's been slacking in our movie department. But I feel like their individual efforts, such as Wonder Woman, um, and Aquaman, and hopefully Shazam, has, is going to improve the DCEU. Um, and we can get some good movies. But we're, we're definitely going to get an Aquaman 2. I can tell that the movie's going to gross millions. And they're going to definitely sign him on for a sequel. So, um, you know, I guess to wrap this up, uh, I enjoyed Aquaman a lot. I enjoyed the action. I enjoyed the two villains. Um, I thought the visuals looked well. And I, I, left, the, I left the theater feeling size-wise. Good. 
Yeah, he left the theater. We sat there until the lights came on. Oh yeah, like, there's no more. <laughs> if anyone, if anyone's ever heard me post a review on Instagram or Facebook, I don't leave until the lights come on because you never know when there's going to be another after credit scene. Lights came on. The guy sweeping and, and the vacuuming came on and like, sir, you guys gotta leave. I'm gonna call security in a minute. Hey, they could have something could have still popped up on the screen though. The goddamn screen was turned off. Man. <laughs> they were flickering on and off the lights. I'm so still we can not get sure. We, we probably still. I'm, I'm sure they were taking off. They probably still showed the the last after credit scene. Yeah, when Dark Side finally shows up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys gotta go out there and check it out. I mean, like I said, I mean. I'm a little bit biased because I'm, I'm a Marvel fan, and yeah. I just not really, you know, over the years, DC's just been felling every which way. You know, if you read stuff or they're not making, who's going to be yeah. Batman, Superman's not coming back. So to me, inconsistency is a big thing. Yeah, I, we got I, a second Joker. You know, I mean, I understand you know. that, you, yeah, oh yeah, that, 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 that movie's coming out. That's, I, you know, until I see it, I mean, I'm not really going to say anything, but when I heard Joaquin Phoenix is going to be Joker, I was like, oh, cool, he's going to be like some crazy Joker. And then I saw that clip where he's, you know, Dudley do right, and he's walking down with a red clown's nose, and I'm like, "Oh, that's the type of joke we're doing." So, I don't know. Now go, maybe go. we can't judge until we see it. I know, right? I can't okay. even say, yeah, until I see it, I don't know. You know, I honestly thought that when they said Heath Ledger was going to be the Joker, I was like, "No, wait, what are you talking about? That guy, no." True. And, and I mean, by far the best Joker, I think, in my personal opinion. No, other I mean, than Jack Nicholson. Oh yeah, yeah that that Joker was kind of. There, but Heath Ledger kind of took the took the cake with yeah them. DC DC they're holding it they're they're hanging in there you know they got their live action TV shows um, I haven't seen Titans yet I guess we're gonna go on a little tangent and talk about some other stuff with DC real quick um, DC's getting it together um, I believe in them the thing is DC Comics it became a running joke that they are darker. But I knew that even before all this cinematic stuff. But they're not even as dark as they're supposed to be darker, you know? And, and Oh, they're really dark in the comic books. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, in movie-wise, the only the only thing that, like, for instance, is, you know, they, they DC started doing the same thing that they kind of, like, they didn't learn from, from Marvel when oh, yeah. they kept getting an older, you know, Peter Parker, you know? It's like, oh, you're in high school for, like, two seconds, and then, boom, you're in college, and now you're out of college, you know? Yeah. And same thing with their Batman, you know? Ben Affleck's kind of up there on age. I mean, he's already, you know, like older Batman. So, yeah. um, you know, if they wait too much longer, he's going to be out there with a walker and a cane. And we still haven't gotten a full um, individual Batman movie yet because of the other movies that he's done. He's already been burnt out. And the same with Henry Cavill. We still haven't gotten the full individual Superman movie. We had Man, Man of Steel, Steel, but that was the intro movie. You know, that yeah, yeah, I was yeah. waiting for, you know, we're waiting for like a good sequel. Batman vs. Superman, he shared this, you know, screen with Wonder Woman and Batman. Um, and then Justice League, he was he he wasn't in, it wasn't all about him. He was in a movie towards the end. Yeah. So I felt like when we we're gonna get the actual second Superman film with their established universe, maybe we're gonna we're gonna get more Easter eggs and more cool stuff. Then with the Batman thing, I don't know if you'll get a standalone Batman because I think um you know, they still need to work out if Affleck's still going to be Batman. <laughs> he's going to direct it. He's not yeah. going to direct it. You know. Is he in rehab? Is he not in rehab? You know, we got... The villains are starting to get their movies now. You know, the Joker's got yeah. his movie coming out. They're, they might do Gotham City Sirens. I think Gotham City Sirens is a go. That's with um, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, and mm -hmm. Poison Ivy. You know, they... they so, you know, I, I, you know, like you said, he's a Marvel guy. I'm a half and half Marvel and DC guy. Well, I got to be honest. I'm 60-40. 60% Marvel, 40% DC, but I know my history for both companies, and, you know, between the animated films, the TV shows, the live-action TV shows, and all the other crap that goes on, they're kind of balanced right now, but, yeah, Aquaman was a good, solid effort, and once again, um, I give it an 8 out of 10, Luigi? 7 out of 10 for me, guys. All right, well, thank you, fandom vs. YouTube. Um, if you want to weigh down in the comments on what you thought about the movie, uh, just go ahead and let us know what you think. This is your boy, Arm. Your boy Louis G. And we are fan of Peace!